A great new feature has been added to the job properties of Cabinet Vision Solid version 9. If we go to the room group, we can see that our finish tab has some new fields and buttons. These allow us to change the textures applied to the cabinets in the job. And, just as with any property, we can change this from within the job as well. Since we're already in a job, let's look at the new layout features. We now have the ability to change those textures on a per cabinet basis as well. If I cancel out of this window, then right click on the cabinet and select properties, we can see on the finishes tab the same controls to select a texture for this cabinet. Selecting the texture will create an override on the cabinet that can be preserved with the cabinet when you save it back to the library. You might have noticed it already, but if you didn't, the next new feature is this legs tab. If I click on it, we can see that I can select from a list of various leg types. Let's change from a leg leveler to a pedestal leg. Now you can see that the leg is a pedestal leg. The best part about this is that you can add to this list by creating new leg, leg leveler, and caster materials in the new material manager. Back at the splash screen, we will take a look at the new part manager, formerly the part catalog. When we open the manager up, we can see that it has been totally redesigned with new controls while keeping the same familiar interface options. The first thing I want to point out is that we can now change the unit types and precision from inside the part manager itself. Next, if I click on the part type, like assembly, we can see how this new list view here on the right works. Instead of having just a straight large list of options, we have the part name as it would be referenced in formulas, the part description as it would appear in reports, and the designer, and then we have a series of tabs. Each tab will give a particular set of properties that make up the details of this specific part, and each part type will only have, at most, four tabs. Some part types will have less, it all depends on what options are available for that part type. Also, as you change the column widths in this new manager, those changes will be saved so that when you come back to the part manager, it will appear as it did when you last edited. If we now take a look at the tabs, we can see how they group properties together. The part tab has the basic information that all parts will have, like labor setup, labor each, pricing information, as well as the price matrix selection. The CNC tab has all of the CNC options like ignore grain, CNC, and optimize. The finishes tab has options as well, some new ones in fact. Starting with version 9, you are able to set the edge finish type and the end finish type, as well as the normal back and face finish type. These can be either exterior type, where the box is marked, or interior type, where the box is unmarked. Finally, we have the new textures tab as well. This tab performs the same function as the finishes tab, but sets the interior exterior texture information instead of finish information. And finally, for the part manager, the new redesigned easier to use price matrix manager. Some simple changes have been made to make this a lot easier to use. Now I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision Solid version 9.0. If you need any additional information please visit us at www.cabinetvision.com to learn more about Cabinet Vision.